Is it true that Chet Hanks is the most successful artist of all time? That is definitely true. I don't know who that is. <laughs> you know, I don't know who that is. person is. We, we, we're sorry. My name is Lestarsha McGarity. I am the Andrew W. Mellon Fellow in Objects Conservation at the National Gallery of Art. And I'm Harry Cooper, Senior Curator of Modern Art here. And this is Ask the National Gallery Anything. Let's see what they've asked. What's a painting you would hang on your bedroom wall if you could? Well, actually, when I was growing up, I had a reproduction of uh, the Robert Henry painting of uh, that snowy day in New York City. So I would take that back and put it on my wall. I would take an Aaron Douglas. Got a couple of great <laughs> ones. Ooh, how do you feel about NFTs in the art world? Oh, I am excited and terrified at the same time, because those are going to be so hard to conserve in the future. Conserving NFTs, it's, that's mind blowing. And I would say I am uh, skeptical um, because I love uh, actual materials, but uh, we'll see. It seems to be uh, not going away. So. <laughs> no. Oh, name an artist you think is overrated. Apparently Chet Hanks, because yeah, we don't Chet know who Hanks. that is. <laughs> I think Picasso is probably a tiny bit overrated just because he's rated so, so highly and everybody is uh, and was in, in awe of him uh, for so long. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll stick with that answer. How do I figure out how much my art is worth? Oh, you do not ask the National Gallery of Art that. Right. You ask a art assessor that, and they tell you how much your artwork is worth. If you didn't work in a museum, what would you do? Oh, that's a very hard question. I, I think I would end up in the film industry doing props, because I love all the different things that you have to think about in making props for movies, mm. like paper bags that don't make noise. Paper bags that don't make noise. Yeah. In <laughs> movies, paper bags are not paper because those are too noisy. What are they made of? They're made of like vinyl fabric. Oh boy. Amazing. If I didn't work in a museum, I would probably be a struggling jazz musician, um, also working at a restaurant to make money. How do you get your work of art in the National Gallery? Well, that's uh, a hairy question. <laughs> that's a question I get a lot from from a lot of people. And uh, I would say, first of all, it's very, very hard. <laughs> I'll just be honest here. Has anyone ever tried to sell a forgery to the National Gallery? Of course. You're absolutely right. Yep. Um, we even uh, still have some of them in storage. And they become interesting objects for study. And I don't know if conservation ever um, uh, plays around with them or not. Oh, yeah. They definitely did for the upcoming Vermeer show to find mm -hmm. out if all of our works are indeed by Vermeer mm -hmm. and what we thought they were. Name an artist you think is underrated. There's so many artists who are underrated. Um, I need to think. Do you have one right right off the top? <laughs> uh, I would say Betty Saar, because they're just starting to give her her flowers, and she's in her 90s. Yeah. Um, Wow, wow. Well, I, I, it's, kind of, it's kind of subjective, underrated, overrated. I think Pierre Bonnard is one of the great artists, and yes, he's well known, but he's often given a, a bit of a second or third slot. So, yeah. Oops, one more, I think. Why don't we have any Bob Ross paintings in the museum? <laughs> now, I do know who Bob Ross is, and um, they're not good enough. You know, he was, he was a great figure and uh, very entertaining and gave a lot of people joy and uh, helped people learn how to paint. Great teacher, yeah, but not necessarily a great artist. What's your take? I love me some Bob Ross, but I don't think <laughs> I'm not in charge of buying things for yeah, the museum. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You'll for obvious that, reasons. Leave that to me. You just fix up the Bob Rosses if yeah. we ever get them. Yeah. I think that might be it. Oh, that's the box. That's it. 
Those were great questions, not easy questions. Thank you very much. If you have any more, drop them in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.